I think President Obama should be more than disappointed. This is a time when the United States should really apply sanction against Uganda. As you may be aware, this is one of many anti-human rights laws that President Museveni has sponsored and enacted into law. And so we should be more than disappointed, particularly because in Uganda at the moment, there are a lot of people dying without medication, a lot of people going without uh, proper schooling. And we should be focusing our attention on the most vital issues that affect the welfare of Ugandan people. Instead, we are engaging, promoting prejudice among the various people in Uganda. This should be unacceptable in the 21st century. As you know, Uganda is one of the countries that have been invited by President Obama later this year to attend this Africa summit here in Washington. What do you think about that? I think this would betray the fundamental values of the United States to invite someone who has, throughout his, his presidency, has exported conflict all over the Great Lakes region of Africa and now has enacted this bill which actually prosecutes, persecutes a particular group of people who may be engaged in an act of not of their choice. By inviting him here, it only emboldens him. It also sends a wrong signal that, in fact, whatever we say, we don't mean it. You know, at first, President uh, Museveni was against uh, this anti-gay bill. Now, he said he's going to sign the law because, according to him, there's no scientific proof yet that people are homosexuals by genetics. And he said he's ready to do battle with what he called outside groups who may not like this decision. The fact of the matter is that this was sponsored by President Museveni. He then pretended to be against it, so has to give people the wrong impression. He was right from the beginning pro this bill. In any case, that is not the issue. The issue is really, should we deny the people of Uganda the rights to do what they would do when they cannot harm other people? The answer should be unequivocal, no. Let me say that uh, I would think that uh, based on what I've read in Uganda and other African countries, President Museveni's decision probably follows the popular line of most Ugandans that they don't seem to favor homosexuality in their country. That's right. In fact, most Africans probably do not like homosexual behavior conduct in Africa. That's very perfectly right. But a leader should lead by example, should lead by a sense of enlightenment, should tell people that, in fact, people should not be penalized merely because they happen to belong to a particular category of people. Some years back, people in Africa were against people with polio. People in Africa were against people with leprosy. It should have been to the leaders of Africa to educate the people in Africa that prejudice of any kind is unacceptable. 